Hello and welcome, today I'm in Blender and I'm going to show you how I import multiple animations to create my character so I can use that character in Copper Cube. Okay, so I'm going to import the FBX file, it's a FBX format. I'm going to go to the directory where I saved all my, uh, 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 my animations, okay? So let me just find the first animation. I'm not gonna import the animation first. First I'm going to import only the uh, 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 skin mask. That's a tpose.fbx Okay, I'm going to use this skin mask to add all the uh, uh, animations to Okay, just follow follow these steps and you will be able to uh, uh, put multiple animations into your character Okay, so I'm gonna head over to the hierarchy I'm gonna go to uh, eyelashes I don't need the eyelashes Okay, since we don't see the eyelashes in the game I'm gonna use a third person cam uh, camera Okay so yeah, let me just change it to materials, as you can see there's all the materials. If you guys don't have uh, uh, your own characters, you can head over to Mixamo. It's an uh, application online where you can um, download um, characters with animations, you know, if you can't uh, create any characters. Or you can just uh, download new uh, views, make Mixamo views, and you can create your own characters. There's some videos in my channel, you can head over to my channel and you can... Um, check out that videos okay if you don't know how to create your own characters okay but we are now in this i'm in blender and i'm showing you how to create your own multiple uh, 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 animation character with animation multiple animations okay so this is the typos all right i'm gonna head over to the directory again where all my animations are saved and i'm going to import wait 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 there's something else i need to do Oh, just a minute okay I'm gonna go to dope sheet and I'm going to change it to action editor no not here this is the wrong viewport the one at the bottom okay dope sheet and go to action editor okay gonna change this to action editor there you go as you can see there's two key dots there we're going to rename this uh, this pose to T pose So when we in the game engine we will know that this is the T pose without animations Okay, I'm just going to use the skin mesh to add all the animations like I said in the uh, beginning of the video this tutorial if it's your first time here guys, please consider leaving a like at this video if it's helpful subscribing to my channel for more videos like this one, okay? So I'm importing the idle uh, animation as you can see without skin you don't need the skin because we already have a skin okay the T pose I'm going to rename it to idle pose and I'm going to delete the armature since the armature is now already saved with the previous uh, armature as you can see there's the idle pose okay just follow these steps guys and you will be able to uh, create a character with multiple animations when I'm done okay so let's import the second animation which is walking Okay, just rename it to walk and you just delete it. We are going to do the same to all these animations that we import. Okay, import the animation. Right, dying animation. Ah, I see I haven't downloaded the running animation but it's fine. I'm gonna take the dying animation so long okay there you have your rig your, your armature just remaining to die and then you delete the armature okay so um, let's import another one okay it's going to be opening opening a door since we're going to open doors just give it a nice animation now if the character is pushing open doors okay opening door and delete the armature when done press enter okay let me just um, download run I didn't download any run animation okay so I'm just going to download I'm in Mixamo online you need an email address to create an account guys um, I'm not using my 
my my credentials, my real name and surname. Okay, this is just a bogus email I just created so that I can use this uh, application for free. You know, downloading characters. But the character I'm previously busy. This character uh, I, I created in Vixen of Fuse. It's an application that you can work online creating animation, not animation characters. Sorry. Okay, your own characters with uh, clothing and all of that awesome stuff. So I have a running uh, animation here. I will show you guys quickly. Is the running animation? Okay, as you can see. So I just need to download this file without skin. Okay, change this to FBX 7.4. Works very nice with Blender, Unreal Engine, and all that uh, game creation, game creating engines like Game Guru and all of that. Okay. So yeah, uh, there the running animation is downloading. Let's wait. Okay, I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna go back. Let me pause this. I'm gonna go back to the um, downloads folder. Let me just cut and paste this animation to the directory where all the animations are uploaded. Okay, you are watching a, a tutorial on how to import multiple animations to blend it to your character okay to your uh, t-pose character uh, my name is uh, 3d mesh tutorials and i'm showing you how to create multiple animations to your character let me just find this directory okay here we go i must go to copper cube uh, copper cube okay models house no there you go mail player paste here, refresh ok, now I can go back to blender and now I can import the running animation ok, running, 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 running am I blind or what? why don't I see running? ok, there's running <laughs> there you go ok guys if you're still watching this video that means that you find this video interesting and very helpful so please uh, consider smacking that like button to support my channel okay let me just rename this one to run let's put it running okay as the name is running and we're going to delete this armature like we did with all the other animations okay so i'm gonna go to the timeline i'm gonna press play so I can just have a look if all the animations is properly imported, you know. That is the idle animation. I'm gonna go to the die animation. Okay, let me just... Okay, there you go. They was just killed by the butcher. Okay. That is the dying. Open a door. Since we're gonna open doors, I took that animation also. Right, it's opening the door. As you can see, there yeah, it's opening. Okay, don't worry, it's opening the door. You will see in the tutorial video in Copper Cube, I will show you. You must follow me. That's why you need to subscribe and ring that notification bell icon so you can be notified when I upload that video. Okay, so yeah, there's the running. Not gonna press on T post. And there's your walking animation. So all the animations are imported properly. And now I'm gonna make that this one FBX file. Okay, I'm gonna compress all these animations into one file. Let me just have a double check again, guys, if you don't mind. Rather safe than sorry. And please guys, you need to save every time you, 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 you tweak your, your, your projects, you need to save it because this new updates, Blender, Unity and all of that, they just crash, I don't know, for some reason. Your model isn't even so complex and big, but they crash, so yeah, that's, we have to live with that. Okay, I'm gonna save this file out uh, to player, and I'm gonna name it, uh, what, what can I name it? Since it's a player, let me uh, rename him player. Okay, player one. Uh, just rename it player one. Underscore. Uh, I want something that I can follow up 
do because I'm gonna create more characters with different clothing. Okay, we're gonna spend some time in that house. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna name it player one underscore player underscore one and say that out. So it's exported. Okay, let's go to Copper Cube, guys. Here we go. So this is the model I created. This is like the, the butcher's house where the butcher stays. Okay slaughtering people and animals and stuff okay so you stumble upon this house but you don't know what's going on in this house but anyway there's the first person camera which i'm going to make invisible and i'm gonna inactive this deactivate the camera because i want the third person camera i'm gonna switch it out to a third person guys um i think i have the ability to create a third person character since I've been busy with Copper Cube for quite a while now, okay, without any scripting, it's a very, very uh, simple uh, application. Anyway, so here we have a three a third person camera. Um, let me just delete this camera again because I need to import the animation first, the character, the player character. Why? I'm going to tell you why. As soon as you drop a third person character into Copper Cube, that camera pops up a dialogue that asks you to select the node you want the camera to hook to, to like a link to, okay, to look at. So, in order to follow the, 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 the proper procedure in setting up your third person camera, I'm going to import the animation, the character we just created. Okay, I'm not gonna make this a two-part series, guys. It's going to be two. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna go through that. If you want, you can pause the video. You can come back to this video and you can watch it again. Okay, follow it, follow up on this video. But I'm not gonna make it a series. It's not too long. Okay, right. So there's the 3D model. I'm importing the 3D model. Okay, what animation? It's not responding. But this is gonna open because uh, I think it's because of the clothing. The character's clothing is separate from the character. So Copper Cube needs to make uh, data files of all of that properties. Okay, but there's the character is quite big. I'm going to scale him down. As I look here in the texture uh, 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 viewport, there is no texture for this character, so I need to import it manually. So let me just scale him down first, put him on a relevant position. I think I'm gonna put him at the door, so that is a nice uh, a prop for me to scale my character because this is the size of the, the house I'm going to use, okay? So let me just uh, adjust the camera and, and I'm going to move the character over to the door, okay? There you go. It's a nice, nice, nice height for the character, nice size, coming through the door, okay, that is perfect, I'm not gonna tweak him anymore, I think that is a very, very, very good size, right, he's opening the door, so that is nice, okay, as you can see the animations are all playing out, I need to edit the animation, but let me just get this character. Let me go to the hierarchy, materials. Uh, let's click on the animation character, the animated character. Go to the hierarchy. At the bottom, we're gonna add here, but the material viewport, we're gonna select the player, diffuse. And just click that small icon. And there you have your materials, your textures to your character. Okay, there is no normal maps for this character as you can see there's no slot for a normal map this is not the pro version okay just i'm just gonna leave it at at solid let's make it a double-sided material i'm gonna leave it at solid that's fine okay I'm still gonna put the character on dynamic and give him a light source then it looks it's gonna look nice. Okay, let me just go here to the animation viewport and let me edit all the animations uh, 
name them correctly just take away armature okay i'm gonna delete that armature that in front the word in front armature okay when you're done you can just close that viewport okay now the, the animations are all correct named in everything properly imported let's click on the animation anima uh, the, uh, the character and we're gonna go to the idle pose so that we can work with the character okay there is in is in this idle pose now i'm gonna put moving to the front of it so now i'm gonna import uh, okay okay let's don't don't mess with the scaling man oh you see don't mess with the scaling just a little bit smaller one ah oh, there you go i'm i'm happy with that there you go okay let's have a look it's nicely positioned okay the, the character is nicely positioned okay just position this camera again it's going to be obvious click on the, the, uh, the character go to behaviors the hierarchy behaviors okay we're gonna go to game behavior object or person controlled by keyboard okay select that one and i'm going to make the movement speed 0.04 make it 0 0.05 i'm gonna go for 88 rotation speed 66 is fine jump i'm not gonna have any jump in this game for now gonna put it on zero run speed i'm gonna go for 0 0.07 0 0.07 yeah should be good good enough it's not too fast okay idle animation leave the jump animation that is i think that is all yeah okay Uh, we're gonna add um, collider so I'm going to resize this let me just position it first let's go for 12 12.0 okay minus 12.0 sorry for that there you go let's have a look it mustn't stick into the floor it must be above the floor okay that looks nice so I'm going to resize this uh, 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 collider to I'm gonna make it more slimmer I'm gonna go for 17.0 have a look let's go for 15 okay and we're gonna move it up again minus 15 let's move it up a minus 15 okay you can see there minus 15 minus 14 nope it's still sticking in the floor it's not supposed to do that okay guys 15 there you go 15 is level with the floor now the character is set up and we can have a look and see how the character is behaving okay um enable in Inclination that is for your character to walk up to stairs very nicely okay with any complications um, let's move it to the front I'm gonna move the camera to the front because I'm gonna put the third person camera at the back of the character so the camera needs some space to move in okay so you see there's the pop-up box it wants you to choose the character there's the character okay I see my excess is out on my character here but it is no biggie you're gonna go to behaviors third person camera style controller and you're gonna go to target height and just play around with the target height i don't know what is the target height of this camera of this character but 12 is not good it's a much higher number 33 no so it should be let's take a hundred and we can work from that <laughs> okay minus 50 90 80 okay it's not right gonna go for 50 60 let's 
go for 60 let's put it behind the character let's move him up a bit okay let's see if the camera is straight needs to be straight okay there you go nicely done now i need to play around with the parameters a little more i don't like the height of the camera i'm gonna go for 50 55 there you go headshot okay i'm gonna go for the headshot 45 um, above the camera above the character's head uh, it's, it's gonna be 50 yeah 50 is much better let's have a look how this character is reacting in the game the game viewport okay is there anything else I should add? Um, we have the camera is locked to the character. Let's have a look how it plays out. Okay, my settings is windows.exe exe and I'm gonna play it. Okay, there you go. There's the character. The camera is following the character like we want it to. Okay. There, yeah, the door is opening, character is walking through the door, and there we have a third person char uh, character guys. Okay, we first need to put more, uh, um, we first need to put more behaviors and actions on this character. As you can see, when I lift my finger from the keyboard, the button, it's still playing the animation, it's looping. So we need to put some behaviors and actions. Okay, the behaviors is the button press, and the action is what? Uh, type of animation you want to set for that uh, behavior okay so as you can see there we're walking around we're taking a nice stroll through the the level of this house let's go up the stairs and see what the character is doing for now I don't think so no want to go up the stairs and see how the character is behaving up the stairs no let's let's go back guys just let's go back okay I'm choking, I'm choking, we need to test this and see how this, uh, there is running guys, you see he's got the running animation, Ooh, and he's running up the stairs smoothly, right, okay, now we, we have to put in, um, let's go to the, click on the character, yes, right, we have to put some behaviors on this character, since this character is just a, a walking, it doesn't have any animations really attached to it set up I'm going to set up some animations for this character but let me just do it this parameter of the target height a little no? just give me a minute guys okay we have a look I want to see some of his you know his feet also it would be nice okay Let's go for 65. It looks nice, but um, I don't think I want to have a view in front of the character and also at the bottom of his feet. How do I get that right? The only way is if I change the size of the viewport, but I'm fine with this man, doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave the character as is, the camera as is, the person camera. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some behaviors. Okay. Let's see. Follow behind. Follow. Uh, fix. Don't move. Can okay, rename it to player. Let's go to the car camera. Okay. Let's. We're gonna leave it for now, just for tutorial sake. I'm not gonna rename this camera. Okay. So I'm gonna go to the character, character, let's play again, have a look, I just want to see something, no, the camera uh, uh, does not work, the camera view is not suitable, let's just, uh, I, did, I, did, I, did, I just attached the camera to the animated character, but it won't work like that. Okay, it was just a test run, guys. For tutorial sake. Tutorial purposes. Okay. So, 
in the attributes by the ideas I'm going to add a the idea triggered by event when a key is pressed do something I'm gonna go with W because we all know the W key on the keyboard is default for walking forward okay key press down let's go for the action set animation of an animated C note select the animated C note it's gonna be the character okay animated mesh one I'm going to select walk and I'm going to loop it okay that is how you set it up I'm gonna press ok and I'm gonna see how this works out okay but let's add another one I'm gonna go for another key press and I'm going for key up okay and I'm gonna go for the W key so when the W key is not pressed the action this animation from this C note which I'm now selecting okay the animation from that C note idle should be played and it should be looped okay so let's have a look how that works out okay if it works out nicely fine if it works guys please smack that like button okay there you see it's in the idle right when you stop it's in the idle now that is how it's supposed to be so the character is now starting to become uh, alive is becoming alive okay we still need some more behaviors and actions the animations we need to add okay don't worry about that now I'm clicking with the mouse on the door but the door is closing automatically when you leave a trigger box that is another tutorial okay I'm gonna make a tutorial about that one very very soon don't worry very soon day after day I'm gonna upload some videos about this game I'm creating until the game is finished then you can download the game and play it okay guys so yeah there is walking is stopping is walking is stopping so uh, rotation speed 120 I want him to rotate very quickly because I will be running away from the butcher right that's nice now we are moving guys now we are actually going somewhere going to the kitchen having some food nom 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 okay the elf bar is now full okay 170 let's have a look how's 170 looking oh that's also nice that is quite nice but too fast no too fast Ooh, it's running run 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 and stop run and stop run up on the stairs up on the stairs there you go up on the stairs run away run away from the butcher the butcher is coming the butcher is gonna kill you my friend okay let's go back inside stop and go stop and go okay so we are heading somewhere guys with this character third person character okay <clears throat> If it's your first time here, please consider smacking that like button if this video is helpful. Subscribing to my channel for more videos like this one. You have to ring that not uh, the bell notification icon so I can notify you when I upload the next part of this video. Okay, I'm creating a horror game in Copper Cube and this is a third person character which I gave multiple animations and I just imported it to Copper Cube and I'm setting my character up. Okay. See, there's some uh, trickiness there with the doors but I'm gonna fix that don't worry this is all about the character for now walking and running stopping okay so we have the walk animation the next one is when we run no when we walk to the back okay because we gonna maybe when we see something we want to walk to the back not turn around we want to look at something while we're walking away so the character is not going to do anything the character will be walking but he will be walking infinity okay let's go with S uh, no not soft I'm gonna first do the 
reverse when the character is walking backwards. When button is pressed, go for the set animation of an animated C node. Select the node, it's gonna be animated, mesh one. Okay, select the animate the animation, it's going to be walk, loop it. Okay, now press OK. Um, now add another one. Another when key is pressed, do something. Go with the S. This time when the button is lift, lifted. Okay, lift up. We're gonna put an action. Set animation of an animated C note. Select the C note. It's gonna be animated mesh one. Okay. We're gonna choose idle idle yes gonna go in the idle state loop that now we're gonna have a look how that works out okay if that also works out perfectly smack that like button like i said guys okay there you go we're walking to the back walking to the front walk to the back goes to idle front goes to idle back goes to idle front back front okay so it's working guys as you can see there's a bit of a glitch with the animation of what is that when I reverse but anyway now we are walking we have a third person camera a character okay not first person I'm gonna try to put it in a first person view also but uh, not now it's gonna take time okay so yeah guys I'm in copper cube and I'm showing you how to import your multiple how to to add multiple animations to your character in Blender and also importing that same character to Copper Cube, interacting with the, with the, with the environment, putting some uh, uh, behaviors and actions on your character and basically starting your first game, your first level. If you started watching this video, you should know that uh, I started out with nothing. I already had the, the 3D model. Uh, a mention of the house which I'm going to use as a horror house I created in SketchUp okay so I'm now busy adding some animations to the character that is all I'm gonna set this one to animation set animation of a C node okay select the C node it's going to be animated mesh one okay animated we're gonna animate it Okay, no, not die. You need a running. Okay. Okay, it's gonna go to the idle state. It's gonna put into the idle state. Press OK. Okay. Next. Oh. Ah, it's running. But I don't need to put him in a run, running state. Okay. So everything looks good. Everything looks good. Let's add a behavior. When button is pressed, do something. I'm gonna go with that. Um, soft, soft, soft. Okay, when button is key is left, left it up. Select the C note. Animation of an animated C note. Okay, I'm gonna select the C note animated. Come on now, mouse. My mouse is acting weird now. Animated mesh one. Gonna go to idle state when the button is left after you ran with the shift key and you lift up the shift key. It's gonna go to idle state. Okay, let's have a look. It's running idle, walking. Everything is blending perfectly from running to idle to walking okay um, I need to get used to the keys there you go he's running the butcher the butcher is coming he's gonna kill me the butcher is gonna kill me run okay I'm quite happy okay. I'm quite happy with the animation and with the character third person character okay there's doors. I need to fix this doors. Okay. And I think that is gonna be the next tutorial. 
adding the doors to this place so that I can get it out of my head. This door is a bit tricky. Anyway guys, as you can see, I added some animation to my character, the character I made in Mix Mixamo Fuse. Uh, I downloaded some animations from Mixamo online. Um, added my all the animations to the character in Blender. And then I uploaded the character, imported the character to Coppercube as you can see. And I'm going to use that same character in my game as a player. There is all these animations. I'm gonna add more animations like picking up stuff, pressing buttons, hitting, and also fighting because he's going to be able to fight. He needs to fight with uh, the enemy, okay? Thank you for watching this video, guys. Like I said, if this video was helpful, smack that like button. If you like the, if you really like my channel, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching, guys.